Hey there guys, do you have a music channel in your mind right now? Don't worry about that because today we will be talking about on how you can make your own music channel. But before we do that guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nolden. Welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. Like I said a while ago, we will be talking about how you can make your music channel on YouTube. So guys, without any more further chit chat, let's dive into the episode of Freedom Quick Tips. So you want to make your own music YouTube channel, huh? We got you. On today's episode, we will be giving you tips on how you can create your own music channel or if you already have a music channel, here are some tips that you can use to make content on. So guys, let's start the show. First off, let's talk about the simple video ideas you can make. Number one is lyric videos and art tracks. Lyric videos hype up people. I remember when the Pop Goes Punk lyric video came out to fruition, I loved every single song there was. It's a way for your fans to look forward for the official video. Also, it gives your fans a chance to sing along with the lyrics flashing every time you sing out the words. Number two is teasers and samples. This is one of the most interesting ways to get your audience anticipate even further the full release of the song you will be creating. It gives them a sneak peek of what the video will look like once it is released. These are some of the simple things that you can do to make content on in your music channel. Next up is let's talk about content that will be really fun for your viewers. These kinds of videos can use a little bit of interaction with them as well. Number one is capturing behind the scenes footage. Capturing behind the scenes is a great deal for everyone because they will see what it is like behind the production of your videos. Who were the people behind the camera? Who were the people behind the shooting? Who were the brains behind the production or the video that you are shooting? Number two is QA sessions or maybe interviews. Interviews gives your viewers a chance to be next to you and have a better conversation with them. You will be able to get to know them more. It's another way to see what kind of music they want to hear, what they want to see, and all of that jazz. So if you have time to make Q&A sessions with your fans or your audiences, that will be awesome. Grab the opportunity, get on the mic, and start recording. Number three, sharing your tour moments. Let's say you have a big album now. Always make sure to share your tour moments. It's like an update for us. You give us what you're currently doing, how the tour is going, and what kind of experiences you are experiencing, and the stuff like that. Because we always want to have that insider feel when you're doing your tours, or when you're doing your videos. Number four, brightening someone's day video. Cheering someone in your videos is one of the best content everyone can see on YouTube. It's like giving someone a pie when they are down and out. It also gives a chance to inspire other people. Majority of the artists around the world would want to spread inspiration and that is what music channels should do as well. In the first place, actually, when you want to make music, you want to inspire and connect to other people. Number five, find collaboration partners. These collaborations are the best way to make videos because your viewers get more variety and can watch more similar content. It is also another way for you to get a lot of viewers because you get the viewers of the one you're collaborating with and it's the same for him or her. All in all guys, collaboration videos is a win-win for everybody. Number six is music challenges. Can you do voice acting while singing? Like that video when someone was using Stewie's voice while singing Rap God. Or maybe you can sing a song that is out of your vocal range. Try to spice things up. Try it out. Maybe you can do amazing things that you do not know yet and also that will be good for you because the more you challenge yourself, the more that you can know what your strengths and weaknesses are. And that's the episode for today guys. If you have other tips for us to start your music channel, let us know down below. Share this to a friend who wants to start their music channel so that you can help them out in the future. Before you leave guys, leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold guys, and bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.